Good morning, listeners. This is Linda from News in Bed with the headlines that you need to know before getting out of bed. Today is Friday, October 9th, 2015. Here are the top stories. Militant group ISIS has taken out two full page ads in the latest edition of propaganda magazine d e b i k to advertise its claim that the group has captured two hostages from Norway and China and is putting them up for ransom. The ads show two men standing in yellow jumpsuits, pictured from different angles, with a chilling message posted below their portraits for sale. The images also show the men's purported name, date of birth, place of birth, and occupation. A caption below each picture includes a comment that the prisoner was abandoned by his government. Norwegian Prime Minister Erna Solberg confirms that a Norwegian man in his 40s is being held hostage in Syria by ISIS and that the kidnappers have asked for ransom several times, but Norway will not pay. She says, This is a matter that the government is taking very seriously. We neither can nor will give in to pressure from terrorists and criminals. Norway does not pay ransom. This is a principle we cannot depart from in the face of cynical terrorists. Payment of ransom would increase the risk that other Norwegian nationals will be taken hostage. The U.S. military has had to divert two aircraft over Syria to ensure that they could maintain a safe flying distance from Russian fighter aircraft in the same area, according to Captain Jeff Davis, Pentagon spokesman. This is the first time that the U.S. has needed to do so since Russia began military operations in Syria at the end of last month. The U.S. aircraft that diverted were not able to complete their mission, says a senior defense official. Since the Russians began operating in Syrian airspace, U.S. pilots have been under orders to change our flight path if there is a Russian plane within 20 nautical miles. This safety measure was taken because there is no agreement yet with the Russians on maintaining mutual flight safety rules and practices. The Russians have a long history of aggressive military intercepts against U.S. aircraft, says the official. The United States Treasury is seeking information from Toyota about how ISIS has gotten a hold of the automakers' trucks, which have been shown in the terror group's propaganda videos. In a statement, Toyota says that it is part of a broader U.S. Treasury inquiry looking more closely at how international supply chains and capital flow into the Middle East. The request of Toyota regarding its trucks was first reported by ABC News. Apple should take the opportunity to acquire GoPro now, says Ross Gerber, CEO and president of Gerber Kawasaki. GoPro has a unique position in the market, and they should be bought by Apple, he told CNBC's Closing Bell. A small position in GoPro is a risky investment for many investors, but if you are thinking long term and you're a growth investor, I think this is finally the entry point we've been waiting for. Shares of the action camera maker hit an all time low on Wednesday on negative news of its new product line, as well as a bearish analyst note that cut the company's price target in half. And those are our headlines for today. Have a safe and peaceful weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.